after having learned from the two segments, that is learning from the thought processes of our general public on the reasons and lenses about their choices, coupled with our learning on what a strong leader's strong points could be as a kapitan ng barko, along with the challenges and opportunities as we sail on and bring on the value chain impacting our country. For our segment today, this anticipate this, I am deeply honored to have meaningful conversations with our guest speaker for today around matchmaking. It is, is it a match made in heaven or something else? That's what we are going to talk about. So let us first welcome our guest speaker for today, who is an associate director at ZMG Ward Howell, a pioneer and the leading executive search and human capital management solutions company in the country, and concurrently the practice head of Asia People Search, an affiliate of the ZMG group covering low to middle management positions. He has been in the recruitment industry for over 15 years. Alden is regarded as a generalist search partner to his clients, having covered entry, mid-level, and executive search requirements for various industries and job functions. Help me welcome Alden Del Rosario. Hi, Miss Jackie. Hi, Alden. Good afternoon, Mayung Hapon. So I would like to go right away now to the question that uh, will serve as a guide of our conversations today. So with the pandemic, what dynamic processes you have included in your practices when looking for new people for your organizations? Uh, thanks for the. May, may I just say, Miss Jackie, um, for for a bit, I got uh, nervous. Uh, listening to the two uh, previous uh, talks, no, I thought you were going to ask me about my preference of the <laughs> president, a magiging political analyst. Ako. Anyway, um, yeah, going to your going to your question, Miss Jackie. You know, um, dynamic processes um, in selecting um, new people in the organization amidst the pandemic. You know, this pandemic. Um, really shifted or changed the game um, in terms of choosing the next employer and choosing your next employee so it's a it's a two-way it's a two-way no? if before yung selection process natin would be um, on a face-to-face -face mode interview in the office or on interview in a coffee shop now you cannot do that because uh, of sa safety precautions because the government does not allow it and because also of, of uh, security purposes of, of health an employee or an applicant or a candidate in, a, in, a, in an employer would rather just do things on a virtual on a virtual scale so in on top of that um, how do how do you address that because um, there are still people that want to that are still exploring. There are people that still want to ch to to look for other uh, companies that they they can work for. At the same time, there are still companies that needed to to sustain and look for 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 people. So how do you how do you now continue the process? So I think in dynamic process that was added is really the embrace and the adoption of companies in the use of technology. Yeah. Um, yeah. Technology now is very important, and, and not only in recruitment, but in other areas, education, in consumer, fintech, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when, since we're talking about recruitment, finding people, interviewing people, screening people, the adoption of uh, technology is something very important. So when you know, when, uh, at the start of the pandemic, companies had to to reflect and take a step back. How do we quickly adapt to 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 that? So the the normal the normal things that would come in mind are investment in in communication platforms like Zoom, MS Teams, Google Meets, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And also now companies companies have looked at their IT um, experts or our IT professionals not as just a support or a help desk, but also as business enablers, because there uh, there are of course big companies that have already plot these communication platforms. But how about those organizations also that are still trying to catch up? So 
IT now, IT now becomes um, a partner or an enabler for that meeting, for that virtual meeting to uh, to happen. So the aggressiveness and the quick adoption uh, is a is I think an important process um, in 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 the entire screening. And this is just the short term. You look at it also on a on a long term, and I'll talk about the long term uh, later on. Apart from this, if you look also at the dynamics um, of, of screening, normally when you talk about screening and interviewing candidates, um, you would ask questions, what are your milestones, accomplishments, what skills can you bring in? But there is also, nag-evolve na rin kasi ang, ang, ano eh, ang, ang, ang criteria, if I would call it, criteria of, of, of candidates and employers in looking for, for candidates. Not only are you looking for qualified candidates but you're also looking for someone who has that quick accessibility and acceptance of work arrangements if you would notice kung dati ang mga tanong is uh, how, uh, how much can your how, how much salary what is the culture what is the leadership like what is the what, what is the uh, career plan in that new um, in that new organization that I am applying for. Ang first question ngayon is, what is the work arrangement? Is it remote, hybrid, um, or on-site? And if you look at LinkedIn also, na-recognize rin nila yun because there's an additional um, column in LinkedIn when you search LinkedIn. Meron rin yung choice na type of work arrangements. Ayan, nandiyan ang hybrid, nandiyan ang on-site, nandiyan ang, um, ang remote. And, and uh, in relation to that, there's also proximity uh, correlating to, to work arrangement. If the, if the person is near um, the work, the work uh, location, is near the, the, the office, that also becomes critical. You know, um, Miss Jackie, there, there is a, the cl a client, normally hindi naman sila particular about proximity, pero sinasabi ang ano nila, can you find me someone that is just about 50, within the 15 or 20 kilometer radius of our company? Because that addresses what if there are changes again in the government, in the in the restrictions of I of the IATF, that this per that that their employees can can still go on a hybrid or, or is, is still easily accessible. And also, I think companies also would want or employers would want to minimize that um, exposure to public. Because that's in public transportation. You don't know. You don't know. Kung 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 sino yung katabi mo, um, there might be infection or transmission of the the virus there. So if you get the employees closer to your work, uh, to your office, there is you lessen you le uh, you you lessen the um, exposure to the public. Pwede siguro mag-bike na lang sila or, ma or maglakad. And another thing that also um, changed um, is yung questions about benefits. People now are very particular about medical benefits. Um, does it cover antigen or, or swab? Is it extended to, to, to the dependents? Yung dependents pa pwede rin mag-antigen, etc., etc. Now also, ang tinatanong, kasama ba yung communication at saka internet subsidy? Meron rin bang electricity subsidy? Pati yung mga transportation arrangements, um, if people were you were before were doing um, public transportation, riding the MRT, ngayon meron na rin mga nagtatanong, um, is there a shuttle? And that, became, that becomes um, also a concern for... for 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 applicants or or candidates, so I think in terms of the dynamic dynamic processes, it's really I, I guess my answer here is being more sensitive and having that extra ear to to know what are the thresholds, uh, halves, and the, the the deal breakers 
both for the employer and the company. And this is because um, of the pandemic, uh, which we are still in no? We're on our third year already. But um, technology is my my adoption to technology is 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 very important on top of it. Wow, oh, this is a very rich um, sharing, Alden. Now that you are um, allowing our public to be educated in a way now of what are really the trends and the emerging concerns both of the employer and the employee and what i am getting there is each party is now having that evolving space that they are considering you now so the employer evolves its own space on who to look for and the employee also is um really evolving its own space on who to look for as the one who will be taking care of them. And what I am also hearing from you is the well-being is so very important this time. That's why it is uh, good to really hire people within your reach so that when there are things that will crop up, people can easily adapt and be flexible on certain situations that may come along the way. So as a somehow a last question Alden, for our conversation today since it was a very rich uh, sharing that you have already given um i'm very curious on how do you know that there is already a perfect match since you mentioned about it's not just the employer now who is looking for the right candidate the candidates also are looking for the right employers who will really be serving their thresholds as well. So how do we know that there is a perfect match between the candidate and the employer? Uh, I'll, I'll share with you three three particular items that will, will basically be common between an employer and an employee and see if they meet eye to eye on these three items. Of course, when you're looking for, for a talent and if a talent is looking for, for his next job, is there a fit in terms of experience and experience work experience track record and um, part of this is also knowledge what knowledge do you do you, do you bring in that particular job role um, the skill is is part of it anyway these are things that you can see in a, in, in in the cv no but the next two points are very very important um, and we have to be sensitive about it. So first is experience track record. Second is your, now we have to understand motivation, aspiration, the culture fit in the particular life stage um, of that um, employee um, who is applying for that specific company. Also, the particular business stage of the uh, of the of the company because i i say life stage because on a personal basis more often the, the employee and i say business stage because because of the pandemic there are companies that have actually flourished um, there are companies that have identified specific key um, job roles that have not been existent in their organization are they downsizing are they um, expanding even in 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 this in this pandemic so at what stage so that's very important so motivation aspiration life stage and i will again um repeat it uh, the, imp the 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 arrangement preferences um is becoming um something also very important the third one of course is the affordability um and you're talking about if there is a fit um in terms of what the candidate um expects to get or to be paid or the, the salary and what the company has allotted um, for that specific role. If you check all these three boxes, then I would say um, there is um, a good match or a perf or a perfect uh, match. If I would just, um, if I can highlight, uh, Ms. Jack, I'll give you a particular example. And this happened in the in the pandemic no? so check na tayo sa experience check na rin in terms of motivation i think every all, all the hr practitioners also have a check there but there was this particular instance and it and it happened um two months before the pandemic hit no? 
So it was a it was a search project for a for a consumer company for a national sales manager position. And um, so it was finalized. Everything was closed in January. By February and March, we were already talking about the pandemic. Uh, in March, nga, it was a lockdown. But this particular candidate had a notice period that was 60 days. So April pa siya dadating. So ang, 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 ang nangyari dito is the there was a question about affordability already. And uh, the, the client was very transparent enough to say, okay, this is what we signed, but we are ha this is what we agreed with the candidate pre-pandemic. But now we are in the, when he joins us on day one, we are in pandemic and we'll be transparent with you that there will be business challenges. We cannot afford. However, ang, na, ang creativity naman is, is he open to take a 30% uh, pay cut and ilam sam na lang namin after 12 months. We just need to, to ride the tide of this pandemic and see how things are. So this is, this is something that um, is new. Uh, first time that I've heard uh, or encountered na nagpirmahan na, tapos biglang may take cut na 30%. Hindi pa nagsisimula. And normally, sasabihin mo, nako, mako mag-back out tong, tong candidate na to. Because why would he go for for a thirty percent? Yeah. You know, yeah, think, uh, the person is still there. Yeah. Know, because ng intindihan. Mm, yeah, I love what you uh, emphasize is nagkaintindihan Alden. No? So uh, if there is like meeting of that aspiration, both the employer and the employee, I think what I am getting from you is there is really a match a match between the employer and the employee because their expectations of each other at the onset has been served and has been supported along the way so alden no? so we have already <laughs> it, Sorry. It's, it seems like very uh, very short but it is very rich you know so short but rich uh, sharing of the learning for today you know so um i would like to ask you for any a few last words for, for our listeners or viewers today. Uh, well, first of all, thank you for, for having me. I'm honored and uh, um, I wish I wish everyone um, a happy afternoon. And uh, in connection to the two speakers, um, let's all wish our country the best in this uh, coming elections. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alden, for a wonderful conversation with you this afternoon.